Hello, my name is Jun Ichikawa. I am an IoT prototyping solution architect in AWS Japan. For the next few minutes, I'd like to demonstrate how to convert your BIM model created by Revit software to GLB format, which can import to AWS IoT TwinMaker. Let's get started. If you don't have BIM data, you can download it from the Revit sample project files. In this demo, I'll use basic sample project. To convert the Revit file to GLB format, you need Autodesk Platform Service account and credential to use the API. To generate the credentials, start from creating a new application. Input an application name and use the default selected traditional web app for application type, then choose the Create button. The application is created and the client ID and client secret is generated. Copy these credentials to use at the next step. Autodesk Platform Service have CLI command so you can convert by CLI, but in this demo, I use VS Code extension. Choose the extension menu on the left side. Search for Autodesk Platform Service in the VS Code extensions and proceed to install the extension. Open VS Code setting panel. To open the settings editor, enter Autodesk in the search box and choose Edit in Settings JSON in Environment section. Add a new environment configuration to Autodesk.Forge.Environments. Replace your client ID and your secret with the client ID and secret created in the previous step. Now we are ready to use Autodesk Platform Service. Choose the Autodesk Platform Service extension icon in the toolbar on the left side of VS Code. Choose the plus symbol in the bucket and derivatives section. Enter a unique bucket name in the input form. The bucket name must be unique. Press the Enter key to confirm and select the bucket retention policy to create the bucket. This demo used temporary. After successfully creating the bucket, the bucket name will appear under the bucket and derivative section. Open the context menu by right click and choose upload object. And then select your Revit file to upload. After the upload is complete, you will see the Revit file name listed under your bucket name. When the upload complete, translation button appear, but you can choose it from the menu too. Choose Translate Object Custom. Choose SVF as the output format and choose the Start button to start the job. The conversion process may take a few minutes. You can see several files after the conversion is complete. Open the context menu on 3D and select Preview Derivative. You can see the BIM 3D model in the viewer. For the last step, Open the context menu on the Revit file name and choose Download Object Derivative as GLTF to download the GLTF file.
After the download is complete, you will see that file with the extension gltf and bin after being saved. AWS IoT TeamMaker supports gltf data but does not support referencing separate files such as bin. In this case, you need to convert the gltf data to glb format. Open the terminal app and run the command to install GLTF pipeline library. Move to the download directory. Enter this command to convert gltf to glb file. You can see the glb file created. Sign in to the AWS Management Console and open the AWS IoT Team Maker Console. Select the workspace where you want to upload the GLB file. If you don't have a workspace, follow the instruction in Create a Workspace to create a new one. Enter a workspace name and choose Create a S3 bucket and choose Auto Generate a new role for the workspace and create the workspace. Open the resource library in the workspace menu and choose add resource. Then upload your GLB file. Your 3D model is added to the resource library. So next, select the scene and add a new scene to place the 3D model. Choose plus and add 3D model for the scene composer menu and choose the GLB data and then choose the add button to add it to the scene. Click where you want to place the 3D model. Now you are ready to use a BIM 3D model in AWS TwinMaker. In this video, you learn how to import your BIM 3D model, which you usually use with BIM software, into AWS IoT TwinMaker.